Hello everyone, my name is Berenice Reyes and today we're going to talk about recycling. I know some of you will have an idea already what recycling is, but today will be the opportunity to learn new stuff about recycling and also to reinforce that knowledge that we already have. Today we're going to define what recycling is. We're going to learn about what materials can be and cannot be recycled. And we're also going to learn why recycling is important. Also, at the end, we're going to discover or to see so many cute things that we can do with recyclable materials. To start, let's take a few minutes to think about what recycling is okay think about something that you have heard or something that you have learned at school or even at home about recycling exactly i know some of you have nice ideas about what recycling is but here here is a definition about what recycling is to have a better understanding of what recycling is and to have a better idea. So recycling is the process of collecting and processing materials that will otherwise be thrown away as trash and turn them into new products. All right, so we see here that recycling is actually a process, right? something that have a start and hand have an ending something that we can uh practice every day right something that uh we can practice even at home or even at work or even at school right to contribute to create new products after reading this definition Let's think about what can be recycled. What are those things that we can recycle to be processed and turn them into new products? Take a few seconds and make a list of products or materials that you can recycle. Let's go ahead and write it down in a piece of paper. Okay, now that we have write down the materials that you think we can recycle, let's see if we match some of these materials that we have here in this presentation. I bet that many of you would have plastic on that list, others may have papers, others may have glass, and you are actually right. There are many things, many materials that can be recycled and as we see it in this um, in this presentation, there's paper, glass, cans, plastic. There's also newspapers, magazines, right? There are a bunch of things that can be recycled. However, there are other things that cannot be recycled. Right? For example, ceramic, for example, electronics that we don't use anymore. Those we cannot recycle those things because they contain some other materials that can be dangerous for us, right? And they cannot be reused again and either turn them into new products. Moving forward, we're going to see some examples of recycling and what we can do to practice it. Recycling paper, so it can be proceed and use it again. So how is that? Example, imagine that your teacher asks you to create a poster for some specific topic. You go to store and you buy a poster, paper poster, and you, you only use one side of the poster. So you have to present it and then you take it back home. You actually can't keep that poster 
instead of throwing it away, you keep it. And then in, if a teacher asks you to create another poster for a different topic, you can actually use the other side of the poster that you left it in blank. That's one example of how can we um, reuse that poster or that piece of paper again. Another example is reusing plastic bags whenever we go to the supermarket. So we all know that whenever we go to the supermarket, we receive like a bunch of, of plastic bags that we can actually keep some of them and actually reuse them. For example, if we have to keep something in bags, we know that we have plastic bag extra, extra plastic bag right there that we get from the supermarket. One thing that I personally do with the plastic bag is that I use it as a trash can. You know, I always put a, a bag, a plastic bag in my trash can so, you know, to keep it like more clean. And actually, I feel that it's more easier for me just to grab the bag and put that trash away. So another example is collecting food cans and selling them so they can be mulled from steel and making them into new food cans. I don't know if you have seen some people that they collect, uh, uh, usually the people collect uh, like the sodas cans and they actually sell them, sell them you know, and uh, they actually make money of that. So it, it's a good thing to do, you know. And actually, they contributing to make like those can into new products, and they actually getting some money, right? So it's actually pretty good to to practice recycling. So now, I know that uh, some of you may be wondering, like, how are these materials recycled? So we early said that materials such plastics, uh, bottles, uh, aluminum cans, uh, newspapers, and all that kind of stuff can be recycled, right? But how are these materials recycled, right? So when people decide to recycle things and contribute to recycling, you know, some people, even at school, there are like different containers to put trash and they label it, right? Like saying just black, plastic, just metal and all that. But later on, all that things are going to the recycling bins that are on the street. And then later on, they are picked up from the recycling bins that are on the street and brought to the center that collects recycled materials so when they're there these materials are then sorted out cleaned and reproceed into new materials so that's how it works whenever we decide to recycle materials we know that these materials are going to a place where they are reproceed and turn them into new materials. Okay, now we're going to see why recycling is important. So recycling is important because it helps to reduce our air pollution, it reduces water pollution, it reduces the amount of energy we use, it lowers the amount of greenhouse gases and it also reduces the number of fresh raw materials we use. So when we when we recycle, we're contributing to keep our environment cleaner. How is that? Because we know that these recyclable materials, instead of going to the trash, they're going to a center that will proceed them and create them into new products. Moreover, did you know that recycling one ton of paper saves around 17 trees? Do you know that people turn away enough plastic bottles 
each year to circle the earth four times. Can you imagine that? Recycling one glass of bottles also save enough energy to light a 100 watt light bulb for four hours. Do you know that you can make 20 cans out of recyclable materials with the same amount of energy it takes to make one new one? Do you know that one three can fold their 60 pounds of pollen from the air each year? So all these that I have mentioned right now are interesting facts that according to the green team, org are benefits that we get from recycling as we mentioned earlier right that recycling reduce air pollution recycling help us to reduce the energy we use every day and we actually we actually by by recycling we're actually helping our environment to be more clean Moreover, besides helping to keep our environment cleaner, recycling can help us to be creative. Yes, as we're seeing here in this uh, pictures right here, right? Plastic bottles can be used to create many nice things that we can actually use. So this is one way, how can we reuse the things, the materials that we recycle? As we see here, we have a bunch of things that we can actually do with only a bottle, a plastic bottle. And one thing that we have to add is only paint if we want to be more creative, right? But we can see that we can use it as a container for plants, container for putting our pencils, our pens. Actually, we can do like many, many cute things with uh, plastic, with plastic bottles, with this recyclable material that it's pretty common. So after all, we have a uh, see and learn through this presentation. It is time for us to reflect and to recap right what we have learned today okay so at the beginning right we define what we, we learn about what was the definition of recycling we we'll learn about what materials can be and cannot be recyclable and we also learn the importance of recycle and we also learned that uh, recycling is one pretty good method of avoiding pollution and is also a method that can help us to reduce the amount of trash that we throw away every single day and that that can help us to uh, keep our environment more clean right we also saw that plastic bottles can instead of just using it to create new products it can be used to create new things such as uh, containers for our pencils containers for our plants and many created things right that we can uh, do with these recyclable materials so don't forget that it is pretty important for us to practice recycling and also to uh, encourage others to do it. So what we're gonna do to contribute to recycle is for you parents and for you students is to whenever you go home and if you haven't practiced recycle at home, you know it's never late to start doing it. So let's list three items that you wanted to recycle at home that you can actually do it and also classify the materials you know put different containers where you're going to recycle 
these materials and let's go ahead and help to to keep our environment cleaner and here is also a link where you can find some weights on how to reuse and recycle plastic bottles i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you got uh something from this presentation all the best for you thank you